Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer, and today we're going to be looking at the prone breathing way. So first, I want Amy just to take an inhale and an exhale. And she's a great breather, but this is sort of the end of the day after she's finished working. Do another deep inhale and exhale. So she's already doing it. You can see she's a good, she's a good breather. So it's starting at her sacrum, but it's kind of skipping her lumbar spine right now and going into her mid back. So this prone breathing wave is really going to help her to articulate the breath from the sacrum all the way up through the spine so that the whole spine can share in this breathing wave. So I'm gonna place my hand right at the top of her sacrum and I'm gonna ask her on her inhale to breathe into her sacrum to let the breath go all the way up through the spine, all the way to the crown of her head. And then on the exhale, we release the sacrum and the curves of the spine deepen as she exhales. So on the inhale, we wanna lengthen the curves of the spine and then on the exhale, the sacrum moves into nutation. She's still reaching through the crown of her head, but the curves of the spine deepen. Let's do one more. So she's sending the breath into the sacrum, through the lumbar spine, all the way through the crown of the head. And then she keeps the reach in the crown of her head as the curves of the spine deepen. All right, then I'm gonna back up and ask her to take another inhale again. Yeah, and so that created a little bit more opening, a little bit more undulation in the lumbar spine on the inhale and the exhale. Now to increase this a little bit more, I'm going to have her put her hands onto the tower bar. For some people, if their shoulders aren't up for this, then you have to leave this out or lift them up on something. So I'm going to place my hand onto the tower bar and another hand onto the sacrum. So same breathing sequence to start. So on the inhale, sacrum all the way through the crown of the head, and I give her arms a little bit of a pull. And then on the exhale, she moves into nutation of the sacrum. And here, I'm going to ask her to bend her elbows on the exhale. Shoulder blades come together. Let's do that again. The arms lengthen. Inhale. I'm bringing her sacrum into counter nutation. And then on the exhale, shoulder blades come together. She's still thinking about reaching through the crown of the head. One more time with this breath sequence. Inhale, sacrum all the way through the crown of the head. And then on the exhale, into nutation with the sacrum, shoulder blades coming together, reaching through the crown of the head. Now we're going to take this breath, the same movement, but different breath sequence. So inhale to prepare, Amy. And then on the exhale, we're going to pull the tower bar away from the sacrum. And then on the inhale, she's going to pull the shoulder blades together. Is that okay on your sacrum? Mm -hmm. Exhale, 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 moving the sacrum away from the arms. And inhale, pulling the shoulder blades apart and opening up through the chest. One more, and exhale, pulling the hands away from the sacrum. And inhale, and together opening up the chest. Good. And then she can let go of the bar and gently sit back into child's pose. So switching the breath there and adding the stretch is just going to bring more information to the spine and more suppleness to the spine to create more elongation and more articulation. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.